today we're going to structurally reinforce a wall crack using carbon fiber. CPR Products Carbon Weld provides strength to the compromised concrete, minimizing any movement. Here we have a crack off a basement window, which is a very common stress crack. This stress crack is not leaking water, so we will be preparing the surface and applying our carbon fiber for structural repair. If the crack were leaking, we would inject with one of our polyurethane products depending on crack size. This would keep the crack from leaking before applying our carbon weld. We would then remove the epoxy surface seal getting back down to the concrete surface. Now we're going to measure 7 inches on either side of the crack to get our grinding area. We will want to measure in several locations to maintain 7 inch centers since it's not a straight crack. Make sure your work area is clear so you're free of trip hazards or other debris that might get in your way. You want an OSHA approved mask, safety glasses, gloves, and a long sleeve shirt. The OSHA approved dust removal system works to keep you safe and your customers home clean. Now that I have marked where the carbon fiber fabric will be placed, I'm going to use a diamond wheel grinder to remove paint, dirt, grease, wax, curing compounds, or other foreign material. Even if the wall starts off clean, we want to open the pores of the concrete to allow the bonding epoxy to saturate the prepared area and ensure a smooth surface. After we have profiled the surface, we vacuum our work area to remove any dust to get maximum saturation with the epoxy resin. At this point, do a visual inspection to identify if there are any low areas or voids. Fill the voids with number 500 structural epoxy gel. Mix what you need to fill the voids without overspreading the gel, as we want as much concrete exposure as we can. Also, because we're working with epoxies, we're going to use gloves, long sleeve shirt, and safety glasses. This one-to-one, -one, two-part epoxy gel is easy to use and does not need to cure before continuing with carbon fiber installation. Scrape off the excess to make sure you're flush with the wall. Apply bonding epoxy before structural epoxy gel cures. We want them to work together for bonding adhesion. We'll be using our GSM 150 unidirectional carbon weld packet for this project. It comes with four two foot long sections which can be overlapped by two inches. The toes or fibers run perpendicular to the crack and sometimes you might have to cut it to keep in line. The thousands of individual fibers when bonded with epoxy will be multiple times stronger than the concrete. Another option that CPR Products has is 300 GSM bidirectional carbon fiber. In this one, the fibers or toes run horizontally and vertically, supporting stress in both directions. The wall is now prepped and we are ready for placement. We're going to mix the number 500 bonding epoxy. These 30 ounce pre-measured units get mixed at a 2 to 1 ratio, and one of these will install an 8 foot packet of carbon fiber. Empty the small container, part B, into the large container, part A. This paddle mixer on a drill is used to thoroughly blend parts A and B for about two minutes. The mixed epoxy will start curing in 20 minutes at room temperature, so only mix can be used in that amount of time. The mixed epoxy then gets poured into a roller pan. I'll be using a four inch pan and a four inch medium nap roller. I've spread a drop cloth on the floor to catch any drips. I put a saturating coat on the wall, taking care not to displace the underlying structural epoxy gel. I complete the area for one weld, set down the roller pan, and pick up my first pre-cut piece of fabric. Press the fabric against the wall and slowly press in. Slide down, going from the middle of the panel and pressing outward to get rid of any air bubbles. Do this for each two-foot section. After applying material and removing the air bubbles, you are ready to go back to your roller pan and apply a second coat that will encapsulate the carbon fiber with the bonding epoxy to the foundation wall, maximizing bond strength. In order to prevent air bubbles, start at the center of the fabric and work to the outside following the fiber direction with each roller stroke. Continue this until all fabric is saturated and you have achieved complete surface contact. Allow 48 hours for full cure before painting over. We have now successfully reinforced a wall crack with CPR Products Carbon Weld. If you have product specific questions, call us at CPR Products. If you have site specific questions, contact your local structural engineer.